Women have to stop being a slave to their feelings. They got to understand that their feelings are not facts. They got to understand how far did their feelings get them. In most cases, their feelings just got them a feeling. Especially when it's concerning men. They got to understand that their feelings don't really hold no validity. It holds no value. A lot of times they... Uh, They just keep on going with their feelings and what their friends tell them. Their friends tell them to, he's cute, get with him. Oh girl, he got money. Um, anytime they feel, and feel like they can't have something, it makes them want it more. I don't know if it's unconscious or thought it out, but they seem to be attracted to anything they can't have, like cats. Or any man that he don't have to have nothing. And that's how they end up running after Pookie and Ray Ray. Because Pookie and Ray Ray don't care about nothing. Not even them. And he, he may not look good. He may not have nothing. He may be skinny as a, as a pole. But the fact that he don't want her makes her drawn to him. Most women are drawn to. They are drawn to anything that they can't have. I know that sounds strange, right? But if you knew the amount of good men, genuine men, not perfect, nobody perfect, but everybody seemed to find and look for the flaws in men that are better than the rest. When I say better, I mean have good intentions. But everybody seemed to give passes to the guys who really don't care, genuinely don't care. And I find that quite interesting. I talked to a lot of guys up in one day and they all seem to say the same thing. The genuine guys are the ones that saying, look, I done this for her, I do this for her. You can't do nothing. It's nothing you can do to make a woman love you. They might tell you to do these things and they know that's just to see if you're gonna do it. That's not the guy she calling back. She calling by the guy that other women want. She's not calling back the nice guy unless she's in control mode. I mean, it's, it's like there's a group of women in a state of mind where they want to control you because they're scared of getting hurt. So they figure if they can control you, they figure if they can control you, then they won't get hurt. You know what I'm saying? They in control, so how can something I can control hurt me? That's their mentality. How can something I control hurt me? So it's different formulas. All women, depending on what state of mind a woman is, they all not the same. But many of them have the same state of mind. You got the state of mind where women want a nice guy, or he clean, or he organic, he different. He not the type of guy I usually would go, to, go for if I was younger. But he seemed like a nice guy, somebody that's safe, or somebody that's this and that. And they misinterpret a lot of guys. A lot of guys are nice, but they players. A lot of guys are mean, but they loyal. It's different combinations, and it's different combinations. But women often jump the gun. Their assumptions are bigger than any facts. Before they get all the facts, they already done made a decision. Before they get all the facts, they have already made the decisions. And that's why a lot of the women end up having babies by the wrong guy or giving their body up to the wrong guy or giving their bodies up to the guys who don't deserve it. That's what's going on. You know, the truth is the truth. Everything don't pertain to everybody. And you should know that if something, if somebody says something and it don't pertain to you, automatically you should know that it don't pertain to everybody. When I hear stuff, when people, women or anybody say something about men, I don't, if it don't pertain to me, I already know it don't pertain to everybody. Because if it don't pertain to me, that means it might not, it's nine times out of 10, it's not going to pertain to many other guys. So it's no need to make 
a statement about something that don't pertain to me. If I'm a basketball player and I'm short and somebody say basketball players are tall, I know that most basketball players are tall. I'm short, but I know, I already know all basketball players are not tall, but I do know what they're talking about. They're talking about most basketball players. Some things shouldn't have to be acknowledged. If I'm a woman and a man say women, women think what they feel is, I'm not going to be like, not all women. Why would I say that if it don't pertain to me? Now, if it pertains to me, I'm going to be like, wow, I ain't know me. And then I'm going to get defensive and say, not all women. It's a waste of time and energy. If I know it don't pertain to me, that means it don't pertain to all. So it's no need for me to even make that statement. But you know how it goes in this world. Everybody can look at everything and everybody, but nobody wants to look in the mirror. In the mirror. I'm Alan Ray, you know, much love to you. Stay prayed up, man. And um, you already know what to do. Follow me on Instagram and all that good stuff. I'll talk to y'all soon. Stay prayed up in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen.